YouTube is going to be YouTube burnout from weekly videos. Ooh, okay. So Retro Ricky, Bobby. <laughs> Retro Rick just got burnt out even hearing that question. So uh, you, you know what YouTube burnout is? Like I don't want to do it anymore? Yes. So you're, you're, <laughs> oh, Rick just calls that his daily thoughts. So we've been doing YouTube for a long time, a very long time. YouTube burnout is kind of like a popular phrase that goes around within creators. You see him throw it out. Oh, I'm burnt out. It's always a good excuse for a good thumbnail. Uh, and... <laughs> It's that feeling of, as a content creator, there's that weird feeling of like, if I don't do weekly content, don't stick to the schedule, don't do this, my channel's gonna start to fizzle out. It's a very real thing too. There is, there's proof for that algorithm, analytics, it'll show you, hey, YouTube wants to see that you're serious, you're doing it. I wanted to ask you, cause you've been doing it for how, I mean, we've been doing it forever too, but you're how, how long in four I'm years? four years in, I'm four years in, and I know I had one stint one of my first year, but in the last over three and a half years, I've never missed a Monday. Every single Monday, there's been a video there. So you see the YouTube burnout videos, people post, people talk about, do you ever feel that? Or is it something that you've completely avoided? Uh, definitely felt it. I was doing two videos. Brutal. That was brutal. Monday, dude. Thursday, and I didn't miss for two and a half years. That was brutal. That was brutal. Like that was too much. I, I, I felt that even between us when during the edit, you know, being your editor, yeah. figuring it out. It was like, it was a lot. It, when I when I again, it's like one of those things where I when I think about it, I'm like, I don't know how I, I don't know how I did that. Like I really don't know. And now now we do one a week. So well, it you know four to five six a month. Um, but I have felt it. But we just had to work really smart to get around it. So I'm here this week, and I was telling Chris earlier, I'm gonna film. I'm hoping to film twelve to fourteen videos while while I'm here. I just don't feel it as much because we film so much like in batch that I have footage to where I can take a good month to not really think about yeah. too much other yeah. than like us kind of communicating like thoughts and ideas, but I'm not doing it every week as a whole like workflow. Yeah. It's like a, Oh yeah, we filmed it. Like <laughs> the video that I put out at Chris's store, um, <laughs> was, it was over a year old and it just yep. went out like a month it ago. It just went out. It was finished over a year ago. Yeah, I loved when people shouted out your subscriber count. They're like, look how old this oh, thing yeah, is. Cause I showed my <laughs> subscriber count in it. I'm like, because I put my little picture of my name. It's like Pixel Games on. I was like 50K or something. We're about to hit 100. But you know what? To me, that was like, hey, thanks, cool. Internet. They, like, they connected the dots. That's yeah, they were awesome. like, Rick had like no beard. He still was happy. Oh, yeah. They called out your beard, too. That's right. still happy. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah, happy. as a creator, batch filming is pretty important. And it means, you know, you film a bunch of stuff at once, save it for like yeah. change shirts. But it, it could be. I don't be, do that anymore. I used to. Yeah, Today I'm like, hey, I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> we're in the same shirt. It, it can be a lot though. Even besides the YouTube burnout or avoiding that in the the process of getting videos out to YouTube, but even batch filming can feel oh, yeah. daunting. I mean, I I have to admit, and I say it with respect, when I go to a convention and I know Retro Rick and Caleb are going, it's not fun. I'm not going to a convention. Mm -hmm. As soon as I find out they're both going, I. Write it off. I won't see you guys there. Is this there. why you're not coming to Retro World? <laughs> so check this out. Check this out. No, I'm not going to Retro World. He's not wanting it. I'm just kidding. Caleb is coming now. Oh, man. Rick is on the fence. So, dude, my you're example out. will be uh, Southeast Game Exchange last year or two years ago? Two years ago. Two years ago. That convention, I went to it, and I didn't exist. They had me booked and were fighting for my time every hour slot. was. I mean, they were paying me, don't worry, to, to film for them, to help do creative stuff with them. It was like, cool, Caleb has me from 8 to 9, Rick from 9 to 10, 10 to 11, okay, lunch break, 12 to 1, I have Caleb, 1 yeah, to 2. It was exhausting. Literally till the second we were done, till it was closing. I was sweating. I am so tired, and it's like, Rick's like, one more video, and it's, how many Wii U games can I buy in the last hour of the convention? And they're like, all right, convention's almost over, and I, I didn't exist. So that can be, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying that in a way like, I don't want to do it. I'm saying it because <laughs> that can be tiring as well, yeah. getting those batches done. When they're done, they're nice because it's like, oh, yeah. sweet, and we he, have 30 he, videos. And you really help push me towards a lot of that stuff too. So, um, But yeah, I mean, oh man, it's YouTube burnout. You so are yeah. such a high energy person. I have yet to see you burnt out. My like wife I, probably says that too. Yeah, I have ne yet to see you like, oh, I'm exhausted. I can't do this anymore. You always are, seem like you're up there. You've known me the longest. Do I don't know. You tell me. I don't think I've ever seen him crash like. Like that, like he'll fall asleep fast, like some like like when we used to hang out in high school. But dude, he's like the same guy every time. Like, wait, up, well, hey, let's go by in, in a good way though. Oh, like dude. you're just very high energy. It's I good energy. To, I have to tell the story. Then right now, this is the best time to tell the story. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so this weekend, I told you, 
Uh, this uh, you'll like this story, Cur- story Curtis. Uh, this uh, past week, I was in Utah with with Caleb, and <laughs> I've hung out with Caleb a million times. I love Caleb Phoenix Resell. Hung out with him a thousand times. Great guy. Um, gets a bad rap sometimes. He's honestly a really great guy. And we hung out a million times. Been at conventions, everything. We've never stayed in a hotel together, ever. We've never stayed in a hotel together, and. We get to the hotel in Utah, end of the night, we're doing our thing, being fun, goofy, good buddies. And I look at Caleb and I'm just like, man, he looks bummed. Did I tell you the story? No. Oh, thank God. I'm like, something's up. He looks like bummed, tight. I don't know what it is. He's just like, and I'm like, hmm, odd. I don't know what's going on. We wake up the next morning and Caleb's like, I just have to tell you, you are so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, it's okay to be quiet once in a while <laughs> and i was like oh my god i'm the, I, I was thinking say something we're in a hotel and it's like this <laughs> caleb say something and caleb's like dude it's okay to be quiet and i'm like it's okay to talk and we quickly realized we are not just like i like to talk he likes quiet it's i like to freaking talk and he likes to freaking be quiet I go in there and I'm like, Caleb, he's got his like nasal spray, earplugs, eye thingies. And Caleb, the next day, he was like, dude, he's like, you're like, oh, cool shoes. Like, look at the TV. Oh, there's the remote. He's like, when you got in the shower, I heard you be like, whoa, it's cold. Whee, whoa, 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 there's, my, there's my soap. There's this. And he's like, why do you have to point out everything? And he literally told me, and again, we say that we, we say this to each other because we truly are friends. Real friends talk like this. Yeah, that's good. And, yeah, he had all this stuff out. And he was like, hey, I say this with love. He's like, next time we go out, he's like, I will pay for your hotel to be separate. Oh, but he says it with love. And I say it with love. And we told we talk all day the next day and everything. But it was just such a funny situation because we couldn't have been. I mean, I woke up. I love you. I'm so sorry, Caleb. I, we wake up. It's like seven in the morning. And I look over and I'm like, oh, oh good morning. Like, oh, what's up, buddy? And I look over and he's just, I'm so sorry, Caleb. He has his eyes closed a lot. So he'll be up and he'll, you know, take off his thing. He's like, like this. on the side. And I'm, he's like looking at me. He's like this. <laughs> For like 10 minutes. And I'm talking to him. He's like, yeah, we can do that. Okay, we can go there. And I'm like, what is happening, dude? <laughs> but but I could feel the tension that he was like, almost like praying for me not to talk to him. And I was like, okay, I need to read this. And I would even tell him like 30 minute stretches would go by and I'd be like, dude, I need to like yell or something. I just went, I just went like 30 minutes trying to respect your wishes, trying not to talk. So, so that's it, interesting because I feel like sometimes like if you're obviously a very extroverted person and it's that that's who i am high energy, high energy sure. people know that's who i am because i've had comments people like, dude riff chill I'm like if i chilled i'd be faking for you on youtube yeah and that's you're not truth. faking that's yeah, just yeah. who you are i would say like i'll speak for myself yeah. like i am sometimes not a very extroverted person but i feel like that sometimes compliments like a very high energy person with somebody that's maybe not as high energy and ricky Oh, I'm low energy. Like low energy. <laughs> like, and so and you guys compliment each other. Yeah, you're probably middle. Maybe I'm middle. Maybe I'm middle. I don't know. But I feel like you would compliment somebody if Caleb was low energy. Yeah, like you that. can't have one of all. If it was, if it's two high energy quiet, people together, like, what is this podcast? It was all energy. It'd be like watching The View. It's yeah. just like everybody's talking too, at once. Right. Like, stop just it. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Especially two high energy people together. Horrible. It's like horrible. Horrible. Match. It's worse than two quiet people. Yeah, two quiet people is not good either. <laughs> Just sitting there. <laughs> two quiet people is, is brutally boring, but two loud people can be brutally annoying. And I'd rather Wait, have yeah. boring than annoying. Right. So but I feel like they compliment, but I know I'm annoying. I'm well aware. Like I have come to terms with that. <laughs> All right. Last question on this. Uh, what advice would you recommend if someone was feeling close to being burnt out from content creation? Yeah, I'll probably answer that question. Go I ahead. don't know. I mean, I, I kind of, I would probably say something like that. The YouTube stuff is so weird to me now. I'm like, I, can you take a break? Maybe you just take a break. I don't know. Does it mess everything up? Well, here's the thing. The mega creators are on a very loose schedule. Most of the mega creators, it's almost like the only way you can take your a break is if every one of your videos is like an event. And I, cause again, going to this thing, these big guys, their ideas aren't like, oh, I did, you know, I went game hunting again. I went game hunting again. Because if you took a break and went game hunting and came back in a month later, game hunting, people are like, eh, it felt like what what was the big weight but with these guys the big breaks i feel like are justified when it's like i built a plane out of legos and actually flew it and the next month i built willy wonka's island this kind of stuff i mean that's when i went to this youtube that's what these guys are doing 
you know, I, I climbed a building using 9,000 suction cups. These are big events that you can wait and go, whoa, that's crazy, whoa, that's different. But for guys like us who are more the day-to-day -day of what we do, it's almost more vloggy where you kind of get locked into that YouTube where. Which I prefer. Like if you if you were to sit me down and be like, you know, your daily life, yeah. you can just kind of like go game hunt and people will latch onto it and like it versus you have to do these extreme things. Mm. I'd, yeah. be, I'd be like exhausted. I'm like, I don't want to I, I try think, to I, impress people by some weird. I think you thing. told me a long time ago that someone told you like, or maybe you told someone like the best way to do a ch YouTube channel is just film whatever you would do every That's day. What I've anyway, said. you would do, do what you're already going to do and because you're going to do it. Yeah. Yeah. That's why like mom channels are like, oh, that's how I, my yeah. daily routine. That's what they do. I would say going back to the question, I would say really plug yourself into a community of people that are doing the same thing. Mm. That's what's helped me too. In the like, I have a couple different threads of you know text threads, Instagram threads that we're always helping each other and encouraging each same. other in that. So I think if you're doing it solo, you're probably going to get burnt out a lot quicker than yeah. if you were. Yeah, because actually I enjoy giving him ideas. Like I literally gave him a list of things. I was like, if you ever run out of ideas, yeah. here's a list of everything you can do. Curtis like, crushes yeah. it. He'll like literally send me things. That's, that's and like fuel. Like, fuel you, to kind of you have going. people that help you that are passionate. And he, this guy like package videos for me. He's like, dude, here's a here's the shirt you should talk about. Here's kind of the back history on it. And here's this. And I'm like, dude, <laughs> holy yeah. crap. And also reinventing yourself. We've always said that on our channel. You know, I yeah. think what really helped us not get burnt out, Ricky and I, was collecting new things yeah mm -hmm, just definitely. being like let's check this out that's kind of cool and then before you knew it you're not just picking it up because you're like oh maybe it's cool you're like crap now i want this which yeah. is also a, in our world a brutal wormhole because you end up buying way more stuff than you ever thought you should i started watching that new show golden touch whatever the new collect king of collectibles king of collectibles that's ruined me now i'm like <laughs> i should buy sports jerseys i hate sports but i should buy sports jerseys now like why 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 the influence an idiot like a jester